as parents. Hope you guys have had a great week. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a Thursday Thoughts, and that's primarily because I was out of town for most of last week. I was actually on a visiting committee for WASC, that's the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. I was asked to go to another Christian school and help accredit that Christian school. Accreditation is an important process of improvement for all schools. Uh, as members of WASC, uh, I'm often asked to go to other schools and help accredit those schools, and I get to serve on that committee with other principals from other Christian schools, so it allows me a lot of contact with other people. My contact list gets to grow. I get to uh, add more people into my circle, circle of friends and influencers and colleagues. Uh, and I, as we go to this school, we take a look at that school's self-study. We compare it to what we see on campus. And we also compare that to the standards that WASC has set. And then we write a huge report and then submit that report to WASC with a recommendation of how they should accredit that school. And it's a great process. We're obviously there to help that school improve. But we also end up improving through that process as well because I get to see a lot of great things going on on other school campuses. Uh, quite honestly, I've stolen a lot of ideas from other schools. Uh, stolen is probably the wrong word because everybody's happy to share. Uh, there's oftentimes I ask for documents. Can I, can I see that document? Can I take a look at that? Can, uh, can, I, can I use this at our own school? And uh, everybody's always willing to help other people out. So again, my contacts list has grown contacts have grown and that's great for Fairfield Christian School because uh, the more voices we can have talking to us and helping influence us and helping us make the right decisions uh, that's always a good thing. So we're always talking to a lot of people and uh, while it's great to go do that and to be on those visiting committees I get asked a lot. I can't always go because my schedule does, doesn't always allow it. I was, my schedule allowed me this last week to go do that. Uh, it's fun to go do those things and to see other, those other schools but it's also great to be back here on campus uh, making sure we're doing the things we need to do here. Uh, I had a ton of grading when I got back, so I've uh, been busy all week doing that sort of thing. But it is good to be back here at Fairfield Christian School. Today, parent-teacher conferences are beginning. Uh, I know teachers are excited to talk to you as parents. Uh, you should have gotten an email from your child's either homeroom teacher or if you're an elementary, the child's primary teacher. If you did not get that email, I would definitely check your spam or junk folder. I know a lot of times when we send emails from our school information system, from facts, many people have those emails go to their junk folder, including myself. When I get school emails, it actually goes to my junk folder uh, oftentimes. Not all the time, but uh, if you're not getting certain emails, make sure you check your spam or junk folder to make sure the emails have not gone there. Teachers should have sent you an email uh, telling you how you can link onto Zoom. We're doing all of our parent-teacher conferences by Zoom this year. Uh, unless you have special arrangements with your child's teacher otherwise. Uh, I know those are going for most of today after school and again tomorrow after school. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of you that I'm meeting with over the next couple days as well. And it's a great time. Parents te teacher conferences are great. Uh, this is a quick check-in. This is not a comprehensive view of everything your child has done. It's about a 15 minute window we've given for, for parent teacher conferences uh, because quite honestly uh, communication should be taking place regularly anyway. But it is a chance to definitely check in at the end of the first quarter. If there's any issues or problems, we can see if we can correct those as we move on through the rest of the school year. So that's the big thing going on this week, parent-teacher conferences today and tomorrow. Uh, coming up, though, uh, very quickly, we do have Spirit Week coming up. That'll be October 25th through the 29th. Uh, talking to parents over the years, Halloween is very a, a very divisive issue. I know that a lot of our families have a lot of different views on Halloween. So uh, to kind of just kind of diffuse that and kind of not put the focus on Halloween, we decided to have a spirit week instead. And during that spirit week, we have different themes throughout the week. So uh, Monday uh, on August 25th is going to be America Monday, and we're going to have kids dressed up in red, white, and blue. Uh, Tuesday will be Team Tuesday. Uh, it's your sports gear, any type of sports gear that you want to wear, uh, jerseys, hats, you can do all that kind of stuff. That will be Tuesday, October 26th. Wednesday will be red carpet rollout. Uh, get dressed up. Uh, think formal wear. That's what we're looking for. The most formal wear you can find. We're looking kids, for kids to get dressed up on that. If it's not raining, hopefully we'll have some uh, red carpets out there for as kids arrive in the morning. It's a, it's a fun time uh, throughout that day as kids are all dressed up. Uh, Thursday, we throw back Thursday. Uh, we didn't want to limit it to one decade, so any kind of retro stuff you want to wear. I know my daughter has already got an 80s outfit. Uh, lined up. She looks just like Marty McFly from Back to the Future. So uh, whatever decade you want to choose, Throwback Thursday will be that Thursday. And then Harvest Friday, uh, your child can wear any sort of, uh, how they list it, uh, non-scary costume or dressed in fall or harvest colors. That would be orange, browns, uh, and yellows. So 
It's gonna be a fun week, we'll have a good time. Uh, just make sure that our, our basic dress code guidelines are still in place. So for example, no tank tops, um, shorts or skirts should be within two inches of the knee, no see-through material, uh, no leggings or jeggings as pants. Uh, those sorts of things are still in effect even though we're dressing up. If there's any question about your child's costume, what they're gonna wear, please make sure you contact the office ahead of time. Don't have your child show up and then get told, I'm sorry, you're not within our guidelines. Please make sure if there's any question, you contact the office ahead of time and get that straightened out before your child shows up in that costume. But we're looking forward to a great week uh, during Spirit Week. And then uh, we've got Veterans Day coming up. And then, uh, you know, Thanksgiving break is uh, literally a month away. So uh, this year is going by very quickly. Uh, although it's been great so far, uh, I'm so happy with the, where things are at right now. I know just looking at my students and over this last week looking over report cards, which by the way, you should be able to access report cards today. Uh, that should be available to you through the Fax Family Portal. If you're not sure how to access that through the Fax Family Portal, please make sure you contact the office. But looking at report cards, uh, kids are doing great. Things are going well. Uh, kids are learning. Kids are moving forward. Uh, and that's exciting and that's what we want to see. And I'm excited to see where God takes these kids over the next three quarters as well. All right, I got stuff to get ready for. Class today, plus parent-teacher conferences. It's going to be a, a busy but a great day. I hope to see you guys real soon. Many of you in parent-teacher conferences today and tomorrow. God bless.